The office furniture industry is driven to a large extent by interior designers. And even when they set out to make a great ergonomic chair, if there's ever a conflict between ergonomics and aesthetics, aesthetics wins. So one of my goals in designing this chair was it had to look great, but ergonomics always had to win out whenever there was a conflict between the two. What's involved in doing one of these chairs? It's a gigantic balancing act. Great designs like, say, a Swiss Army knife is a good example. They're elegant. Um, they're beautiful. In some ways they're modest, but they work exceptionally well. There's a certain intrinsic beauty to the fact that they do everything well. And I kind of see this chair the same way. So we started with taking all the components that we developed over the years, our patented back height adjustment system for one, and saying to Miles, you have to start with incorporating this back height adjustment system because we think it's the best back height adjustment system in the world, and work around that. Other mesh chairs on the market have always found the lumbar support to be inadequate. I think the people who design them, because the mesh back chairs are so thin, I think the lumbar support also has to be very thin and minimalist. But I think the lumbar support's the most important part of an ergonomically correct office chair. Because of our understanding of ergonomics, an ergocentric mesh chair will be different and in many ways better than another mesh chair on the market. And that's the reason for us to do one is that for many people, this will be the ideal chair.